Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how a narcissist can leave you so easily. Please hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor uk. This is how a narcissist can leave you so easily. Some narcissists are very jealous, possessive and controlling. And those are the types of narcissists that you will typically be in a long-term relationship with. But they may not even have anyone else on the side. And their life just revolves around you as their primary source of supply. But there are other types of narcissists, which I like to call the player type of narcissists. And these are the types of narcissists that have lots of options. And yet, you may feel like you're developing a relationship or a connection with this narcissist. Because when they first met you, they idealized you. They viewed you as perfect. It's like the mentality of a child, because they have an arrested emotional development at the child of a toddler, which is why they often throw tantrums. And at this age of development, they haven't learned empathy. So they have an inability to understand and share your feelings and experience. They can't feel what you feel. And they also lack object constancy. Object constancy is the ability to maintain and stay, to maintain a stable and consistent perception of a person despite changes in their physical presence, appearance, or emotional state. It is a skill that is crucial for forming healthy relationships. The development of object constancy occurs during early childhood. Infants form attachments to their parents as they begin to recognize them as separate and distinct entities. And through repeated experiences of separation and reunion, they learn that their parents continue to exist even when they are not physically present. This understanding is crucial for the development of a sense of security and trust in relationships. Where children grow to understand that a parent who is momentarily angry or upset still loves them and will return to a loving state again. But narcissists lack object constancy, so they will be prone to insecure attachments where they experience difficulty maintaining a sense of security and trust in relationships, which may manifest as anxious or avoidant attachments. They may also experience heightened sensitivity to your emotional state, leading to emotional dysregulation and intense emotional reactions, which will result in relationship instability, where they will experience chaotic, unstable and short-lived relationships such as what you may have experienced with the narcissist, where they may have been inconsistent in their attitudes and actions, and they may have shifted rapidly between pleasant behavior and anger, anxiety, or coldness. This is all the result of a lack of object constancy, which is normally developed between the ages of four and seven months, and also a lack of empathy, which is normally developed at four years old which is why they now have an inability to retain a bond with another person, especially if they are disappointed or upset. If you have hurt or upset the narcissist, they will be unable to maintain the same bond or level of connection with you that they had before. They may have liked you initially, but if you do something wrong, they will view you as being completely flawed because they have an arrested emotional development. So just like a toddler, they have a black and white mentality where they think at extremes. Their thought patterns assign people, things and actions into one of two categories, good or bad. So now they see you as being completely flawed, even though that's only their opinion and other people may think differently. But narcissists live in a fantasy world. They have constructed a false regality to avoid their true self. And they pulled you into this fantasy world. 
to where they may be physically present with you, but in their minds they're with a completely different person who has different actions, behaviours and motives. And this is all based on how they see it in their minds, which is why they hate your autonomy and independence. And they will deprive you of your right or condition of self-government to where you no longer have the freedom or ability to make an informed, uncoerced decision independently of external control or influence because they have envisioned you as being someone else and they're acting out this with you at the same instant and moment to where they may think that they're connected with you but they've actually exchanged you for a completely different person for the type of person that they would like to be with which could be something good or something bad but it has no basis in reality it's something that exists only in their minds and yet they are acting this out with you when you are with them by using your body energy and emotions while they're treating you as an empty vessel because they've tricked their minds into detaching from reality so that they can see you as something else until you become a part of the fantasy. And the closer you get to them, the more they begin to expect from this character that they're experiencing based on what is playing out simultaneously in their heads. But they're actually not even getting to know you or learning anything about you. They're just monitoring your reactions and responses to what they do. They're creating a program of studies and teachings to mold you into this character that they need to operate off so that they can create the plot line, a series of events of a story, drama or game while manufacturing the way in which it develops so that everything plays out exactly the way they see it in their minds. Which is why when you see this strange outlandish behaviours from them, it's really just to get the character to react the way they want them to react. Because they need you to represent this character that they've created in their minds. This character that they want to live this fantasy with. They need you to become that. The problem is that you are not this robot robotic character that expresses no emotions and does things in an automatic seeming way. In reality, you are something completely different to this character that they've created. Which is why when you do things that deviate from this fantasy that's going on in their head, the problems begin. The moment you don't live up to their extremely unrealistic expectations, they will detach. The moment you challenge or oppose them, they will begin to see you as you actually are. It will leave them unable to see you as the fantasy character that they've created inside their head which they will experience as a sudden and violent blow. It will hit them like a ton of bricks and they won't like it because they want to remain asleep, which is why they will try to exert more control over your mind or they may become passive aggressive to try to mold you back into this fantasy character that they want to live with. But the moment you deviate from the fantasy, you become imperfect and faulty because then they're left to accept that you don't like what they want you to like, which is not what they want. Because you're supposed to like what they have envisioned in their fantasy, which is why they deliberately engaged in so many manipulation tactics and methods of control to get you to conform to the standards and expectations of the character that they want you to be. And how do you know that they've created a fantasy character and that they're living in a fake world inside their minds? You will know, because the more that you try to hold on to your identity, the more they fight and struggle to achieve an alternate result or to resist you, until eventually they no longer want you. Because what triggers them more than anything else is when you hold on to who you are and when you refuse to back down from your own identity, in contrast to what they depicted or betrayed you to be, because when they realise that you can't be the fantasy character that they wanted to play this storyline with, then they no longer need you. Because that's their idea of fun. That's what brings them enjoyment, amusement and pleasure. 
manipulating you into being the character that they need you to be because they can't find satisfaction with you directly. They only experience enjoyment through the fantasy because that's how they live in their minds, which is how it's so easy for them to leave you like you never existed once you've chosen to no longer exist in their world. Because if you're not willing to go along with their storyline, they're not going to have any fun with you anyway. Because you're not going to be doing the things that they want you to do. So it's not going to feel good for them. It's not going to be fun. So by that point, why would they want to keep you? If you want completely different things. If you have two different ideas of what fun is. When you stand your ground and you enforce your boundaries. It causes reality to obliterate their fantasy. It becomes a conflict of interest for the narcissist because it's a situation where you are incompatible, where you have two different concerns because they're only looking to derive personal benefits and they will happily choose their own personal gain over their duties to you because that's their idea of fun. That's what feels good for them. Having power over you, manipulating and controlling their target. Nothing brings them more joy because they lack object constancy. So the relationship is only ever going to be characterized by instability and an inability to retain a bond with you, which is why if you do one thing wrong, they will view you as completely flawed and they lack empathy. So they can't feel what you feel anyway, which means that by default, it's only ever going to revolve around their fantasy. And that depends on you going along with it. If you don't go along with it, then the fantasy ceases to exist. Or it never existed. Because they couldn't use your body, energy or emotions. So they couldn't envision you as being this character. Which is how it's so easy for them to leave you. Because while you may exist in reality... You do not exist in their fantasy world and the fantasy is all that they're concerned with. They're only concerned with molding you into this character that they need you to be because they hate reality. It destroys their mood. It just makes someone to get rid of you. They will not want to keep you around because at that point you become harmful to them. You disrupt them by doing something unrelated. In their minds, you're just ruining the moment that they're trying to create. They're seeing you as something that presents problems and difficulties based on your reactions and your emotions, or sometimes your lack of reaction and emotion. They're not paying attention to what you want or what you're concerned with. They're more focused on what disappoints and frustrates you because they're trying to learn these things in order to manipulate and control you so that they can create the scene to live out their fantasy while keeping you as this character that they can use for their own enjoyment. But the character has nothing to do with who you are. They may remember things that you like and want, but it doesn't have particular meaning or importance to them. Because they don't even see it as though it's coming from you. They see it as a malfunction or irregularity, a glitch in your programming. And they just have to overcome this problem or limitation in their programming system. They're never really learning about who you actually are or how you really feel. They have no idea, knowledge or understanding about what you're really like. Because they've already attached a label to you and assigned you to a category inaccurately and restrictively. They've put you in this box to be something that they want you to be so that they can act it out in their minds. This is what narcissists do. They trap you with these agreements involving obligations that cannot be broken to play on your feelings. So the entire relationship may have felt real to you. You may have felt like it was love. But when you observe the results at the end 
of how they can so easily walk away, you realize that it wasn't real because you weren't even the character that they were interacting with in their minds. They never recognized or accepted your true character or saw it as valid or important. They never admitted it to be real or true. They can only acknowledge it if it fits their program or sequence of instructions rather than something that occurs in a natural, unplanned way. Everything a narcissist is involved with has to be orchestrated. It has to be on their terms and conditions. It has to be under their control. It has to be a source of supply to them. They cannot acknowledge anything outside of that. They cannot know the real person. Because if they did, it wouldn't be supply. And they wouldn't be operating with a false character. Which is a catch-22. Because of mutually conflicting conditions. And it's why when you begin to deviate from or rebel against any way that they are trying to groom or condition you, where they're training you for a particular purpose or activity, instead of just letting you be you, then it becomes a problem. You become defective from that point on because they have no use for you being you. That doesn't serve them in any way. And when they hoover you, it's only to see if their character has molded themselves into being what they want. Because it's either that, or they see it as though there's a still a glitch in the programming and it's not operating as it should. Which is how it's so easy for them to leave you like you never existed. Because the person who you are never even existed in their minds. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.